Next lab video, still looking at the lower limb, we're gonna be looking at the femur and the tibia and the fibula. So the bone in your thigh area, the largest bone you have in your body is your femur. Okay, so pretty massive bone here, it's very long. Um, so the femur on the proximal end, okay, the part that's gonna be um, connecting with the acetabulum on your hip bone, so going into that socket, you're gonna have the head of the femur. Okay, so we have the head, and then this more narrow portion right below it is the neck. Okay, going all the way around, we have the neck. On the humerus bone, you have those specific names for the neck, like anatomical and surgical. You don't put those here. All you need to put is neck. We have the head and the neck. And then on the posterior side, we're going to have some more of these bumps here. These are called trochanters. So the one on top is much larger, so it's called the greater trochanter. The one below is the lesser trochanter. So on the humerus bone, we had tubercles. On the femur bone, we have trochanters. I kind of think you trot with your trochanters. <laughs> okay, and those are gonna be facing towards the back. And so that's how you know you're looking at the posterior view. It's like your hamstring muscles are gripping onto these trochanters here. So those are structures to know on the proximal end. As we go down to the distal end, that's gonna be forming your knee. All right, so we're gonna have some condyles and epicondyles. The condyles are the smooth, flat surfaces here that are gonna be part of the joint. Epicondyles are gonna be above or upon those bumpy ridges on either side through there. So you have a medial and a lateral side. So how do you know what's medial? What you can look for is look to which side the head of the femur is pointing, because that's always gonna be pointing into your body. So on the medial side, so again, if you look for the head and if you go down that same side, you're gonna be running into the medial condyle, the smooth flat surface, and then the bumpy part right above it is the medial epicondyle. And then on the other side, this flat surface is the lateral condyle, and then on the side is the lateral epicondyle. So above or upon on the lateral side. Okay, so that condyle is gonna be sitting with the tibia bone, which is this bone. It's gonna form your knee joint right through here. Your patella is gonna be sitting on top of that. So on your uh, tibia, which is this one, these are also gonna have some condyles. All right, let me bring in the other bone. So you're gonna have your tibia and your fibula. Okay, fibula kind of looks like a bow. Tibia is gonna be much thicker. Kind of looks like a tuba. Fibula, you can think like a flute. So be sure don't mix up these words. It's like every anatomist pet peeve. Um, don't say tibula and fibula, it's tibia and fibula. I always kind of think if you're having a hard day, you just got to tell yourself it's going to tibia okay. <laughs> uh, so we got the tibia, that's your shin bone. It forms this really narrow part here. There's not a lot of fat on top of there, so if you hit it, that's why it's really painful. And then this more narrow one on the outside is going to be the fibula. Okay, so the way these are arranged in terms of your foot, the tibia is going to be more medial. The fibula is going to be more lateral. Let me bring in the foot so we can kind of see this. So we're going to have a foot here. Actually, let me grab the other side of the tibia and the fibula. And then so with the foot, because the big toe, the tibia is going to be sitting on the big toe side. And then the fibula is going to be on the other side. All right. So when we're looking down here, here's our tibia, here's our fibula. These things sticking out here are called a malleolus. All right, so your ankle bones. The one on the tibia is the medial malleolus. The one on the fibula is the lateral malleolus. So it's not that it's on either side of the bone. It's gonna be medials on the tibia, lateral is on the fibula. I think you got the little bone is the more lateral bone. Okay, so that's how you're gonna be able to identify on the tibia, you have these condyles. So the side with the medial malleolus, you follow that up, you're gonna be running into this part here, which is the medial condyle. This one is the lateral condyle, all right? So again, here is our femur. We have the medial side, and then we're gonna have the medial condyle meeting up with the medial condyle of the tibia. Okay, so what might be helpful is to look at it on a skeleton, because it's kind of hard to see in the viewpoint. Okay, so again, so we have our femur. So here's the head of the femur. So on the same side, 
That's the medial side. So medial condyle is going to be sitting with the medial condyle of the tibia. Through there. And then down at the ankles, we have that medial malleolus. So that's how you know you're looking at the medial side of the tibia. Over here, that's going to be the lateral side of the tibia, meeting up with the fibula. Okay, and there's the lateral malleolus on the ankle. Okay, and then here is the patella, your kneecap bone. So right 